I might want to go somewhere. So I'm going to start practicing some treader loading. And what I try to do is I'm on the same lead rope and I've got a flag here. And what the flag is, you know, it's an extension of me. It's about four feet. It's got a made of parachute material. It opens up into a, a nice square. And what it does is it creates a little bit of energy in places that I don't, I can't get to all the time without having to move my feet. So I can encourage her to go to different places just like I can discourage her to go from a place that she might think or perceive as safety, but I can help her get through that. It's a three horse slant, but all the dividers are pulled back. So what she can do is she can go in there and turn around. So if your horse was delivered to you with a trailer that's not similar to yours, you know, this is how I might introduce him to it. And just because I have a flag, this might scare her, I don't want it to. But I just want to, I still should be able to rub her with the flag. Now, she's come to the trailer and she hasn't come in. So I'm not going to ask her to go in, I'm going to back her up. Because there's going to come a time where I might have to back her out. But now I'm going to send her. I'm going to give her another chance to get sent in. What I don't want to do is keep sending her, keep sending her, keep sending her when she's sitting right here. Instead of backing her, I might send her away so that we can return. And again, I'm not trying to use momentum. I'm not trying to get this horse to go in there as fast as she can. I'm just trying to let her know that the most comfort is right here at the door. So because I sent her away, I sent her right back. I'm going to back her away, ask her to be thinking inside that trailer. See, she's going the wrong direction. And the reason she's going the wrong direction is because that's where my halter and my lead rope, they were pointing to the trailer. She decided to go back this way. So that's why I use that flag, so I can discourage some of the behavior. Now I am going to send her that way, so that I can send her right back. I don't want her to stay out here too long. I want her to find the comfort over here by the trailer, because pressure motivates and the release teaches. So if I always release her here at the trailer, she's going to associate this with a little more comfort. I'm going to back her up. That's far enough. Now I'm going to send her in. Now just like the gate, just like before I had the door open, I, I want her to go around me. And what I mean around me, you can see I don't have a whole lot of space between me and the trailer. I don't want her to shoot between me and the trailer. So I'm going to be sure that I can ask her to go right back to this. Again, it's up to her. If she's not trying, she'll give me another chance to send her. There we go. So I've got, I've had one foot, I've had two front feet, now I have all four feet. Now I haven't given her all the slack. She's in a bit of a predicament right now because she's, she's got about seven more foot of lead rope that she could take if she walked in. I'm going to see if I can shake my lead rope in a way that can help her back out. Because we've been backing out, out of the trailer, that might give her some confidence to try to back out once she's in the trailer. And this mare, she hasn't been in hardly any slant trailer, so for her to back out without me being in front of her, I was really proud of her. I'm going to see now if I can lead her in so that I can help her back out. I'm not trying to rush her in. I'm not trying to ask her that I'm not trying to tell her that she has to get on, but I definitely am aware that because this is the first couple of times, she's entitled to get out as safe as possible as possible. And so what I'm doing is I hold on to the halter with a steady feel. If she can follow the steady feel, I'll keep it steady. But because she got nervous and she got a little braced, I'll have a little bit of rhythm. So I'll show you outside the trailer what I'm doing inside the trailer. I've got my thumb down, I've got my hand right on the halter, and I'm just asking her to back with steady pressure. And you can see out here she backs just fine. But in that trailer she got worried. So I just shake that halter left and right. I'm not pushing anymore. I'm just shaking it a little more vigorously to help convince her to go out. So it's not that I'm against a horse being led into a trailer, but I, 
you'll find out a lot about your horse if you can send them in. Again, I'm on the right side, so this is some place that you know a lot of horses may not be used to being led or sent in. So again, every time she retreats, I'm just going to help her go on. And if you hear how loud she's going on, I want to end on a little softer note. So I'm going to keep asking her to go on just a, that time she tried to get on, she's still trying to get on, but you hear how quiet that got? Now she'll earn the opportunity to stand still. See, if I sent her on and she raced on and raced off and I gave her a break, the next time she might load, she might be in a panic. But even though she kept going on and on and on and off, on and off, on and off, and I didn't release, yes, she was panicking, but once she realized that the whole idea was to get on, she thought her way through it so that hopefully the next time she goes, she won't go in such a panic. She'll know where the comfort is. So I wanted to talk about my positioning and things that I was looking for. Uh, right before I got started, I was sending this mare between me and the trailer just to make sure that she's comfortable with those situations. Uh, some horses might balk. Like they may not want to cross between me and the trailer. But once I commit to going right here to the bumper, you know, I'm right here close enough to touch it. I don't want to be kind of in between of being able to touch it and not being able to touch it because if the horse chooses not to go to the trailer, she could then come right through here and maybe plow me over. So I'm always aware of my personal space. Uh, another thing I want you to realize, you can check it out over here on the right side. I can go through the same procedure, just asking her to go on. She, she's not interested in the trailer, so I'll just keep swinging this rope until she takes some interest. So the same thing that I did on the left eye, I would recommend checking it out on the right eye. You know, That's just going to give you another awareness of what your horse's tendencies are. So I'm just going to ask her to take interest in the trailer. And I want you to realize what I've been doing with the flag, what I've been doing with the end of the lead rope. See right now this shouldn't bother her, just like the flag, because there's no tension on the lead rope. Once I use the lead rope to move her nose, it's as if my lead rope or the tail of my rope or my flag are there to support. Now if my horse is not, this mare she was, I'm not going to say fairly easy, but you know, Comfort means a whole lot to her. So if you have a horse that's really scared, you want to be sure that you end on good notes. And what I mean by good notes are listening to how the horse comes off. If your horse comes off and races off, well then you got some homework to do. You, you need to help that horse go back on. You might just allow them to put two front feet on, allow them the luxury of coming off instead of committing all four feet and getting in a bind. So once my horse does come off really nice, I'm going to let her retreat. I let her go away so that I can send her back. Because too often I see folks, when they get their horse really close to the trailer, they think everything's going well right here. And then when the horse tries to go on, they go, get on there. And then the horse goes, whoa, there's a heck of a lot of pressure right there at the front of the trailer. When really this should be not necessarily a peaceful place, but it should be a very inviting place. So I want you to be aware of your pressures. Allow the horse, you know, even if you go out and get your horse to step one or two feet on and just let them stay there. Again, this mare, she's pretty naive because we want to show you some difficulties that a horse might show you. But just getting to where your horse can do those things. They can check their balance out. You know, it might be a little uncoordinating for them to be standing up on their hind end. So just some of those things I, I recommend you to check out because if you don't check them out, thoroughly or often, uh, then your horse could develop situations with the trailer that are less desirable.